In Affinity, you can create all kinds of abstract designs from very basic pattern designs combined with a few filters. This is going to be an experimental video, so perhaps I won't achieve exactly the same each and every time, but it's live and literally millions of combinations can be created using this approach. So PC or Mac, I'm going to show you how now. Let's go for the first part of the video. And it's fairly basic, just a basic pattern. Pixel and just go down here to new pattern layer. That's all you need to do. And you can set it to 200 by 200. I don't know why default's 32. It's very, very small. Click OK. Now you've got to fill it with something. And I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to use a fill tool. You could use brushes, could use a whole range of different things. Doesn't need to be a gradient, but gradients are quite easy to use. So let's just drag. You can reposition it in any kind of way. Once you've got this, you can see it's a pattern layer. I'm going to use this as the, the top level design, but I need to rasterize it. But I want to still use the pattern though to use as a displacement. So I'll just show you how to do that now. All you need to do is just go over here, right click, and then just down here to duplicate. So just duplicate it. You can duplicate it elsewhere, of course. But here's two pattern layers now. The top one, I just want to use as a pixel layer. So right click and then just down to rasterize. So that's that, turned into a pixel layer. Now the pattern is going to be now used as a displacement. So with this selected, I could, if I didn't mind sort of just changing it and applying it and then undoing, but live filter effects are so much easier because it means you can change your mind later on. So let's just go here to pixel and then down to new live filter layer, distort and down to displace. So displace. And now what happens, I've got this one here is going to be using this displace map here, but it's going to use this pattern here. Anything below is going to be used as the displacement. So just click here. Unfortunately, there's no auto update. I wish they would add that, but it's not available. So you have to click it every time you change anything. So just click that. That's what it's using, that pattern. And I can then change the strength. And you can see straight away, you can create some very abstract designs simply just by using this basic pattern design like that. But you can do a lot more than that. You can, of course, go through here, blend modes. You can see you can just try different, and that will create some interesting designs as well. I'm just going to close that now. Well, the next thing I can do is I can actually, because I don't want it to be so sharp, I can actually add also a live blur in between. And it could be a Gaussian. It could be any number of type of blurs. You could add two or three blurs as well. Doesn't need to be just one. And they will all be used by that. So let's just deselect there and then go to pixel. And again, down here to new live filter blur. And I could go Gaussian box. Box is a great one, I really like box, but Gaussian's fine. So Gaussian, and now I can set it. And I'm just going to set it there. And it blurs a whole lot at this point because it's on top. So I'm just going to move it in a sec. So it's 13.3. You could vary it. You can change it later because it's live. You can just go in and change it. But now what I want to do, this Gaussian blur, I want it in between the here. So not pixel, I want it to be in between there. So just drag it down. So it's got here, let's just put that all together. And you can see, oh, I've got the gals in there. I don't want it there, I just want it further down. So, okay. Always a good idea to check. So sometimes what happens, let's just drag it all the way down because I'm getting it included here. I don't want it included in the actual pixel layer and displacement. That's definitely not the place I want to do it. So I'm just there, and now I can just drag it up here. And yes, that's where I want it. I want it in between the pixel, Gaussian blur, and then pattern. Otherwise, this will not work. Okay. Now what I can do, I can now go back here, and I'm just going to expand it again. Now I can just click here at any point, and now sometimes you have double click, sometimes click. I don't know why, but sometimes it just ignores if you just click. Sometimes it works okay. Then load map from layers beneath. And now straight away, you can see because of that blur, I've got a slightly different result. And of course, I can still continue to change that. And you can see as I do that, it creates even more abstract designs because of the blur. 
it's blurring that pattern. So the pattern's still live. So I can go and change it. But again, you have to update this each and every time. Just unfortunately, there's no auto feature. So close that again. And we can go to the pattern. And now you can, if you want, you can simply go to the move tool and you can see your pattern layer. You can see, but you don't have to. You can just reposition it and you can see you can move it around. You can also resize it. You can also rotate it. Now you can see a bit of the result there because of the way I've done thing. You've got the actual layer beneath. You can still see it. Okay, now we can go back to this displacement. Click here and you can see now you get that. Now, let's just click here. So now you won't see it. You won't see that underlying layer. You just needed to turn that off. So preserve alpha, just turn that off, etc. If that's what you want, up to you, of course. Now, exactly the same as before, load maps from layers. Just click that. And now you can see the result of that change of pattern. And it's a slightly different result now. And you can go and you can modify this and you can see the result. If you go that way or this way, Creates a variety. Now it would be nice if it was a rotational displacement. I do not know why they just didn't add that. Unfortunately, it's just obviously in one direction. You've got strength like that. If only they'd added an angle to it, it would have been brilliant. It would have made this tool absolutely amazing. But sadly, that's not available. Okay, what you can then do is close that again. The pattern is still live, so you can still go to the pattern. You can, of course, tweak it and change it. You can always add a, a different gradient if you want. But what you can also do is go down here to the pattern and you can then right click that and duplicate. Now, I don't have to see it. Don't have to. You can. You can, of course, go to the side here. You can always just simply, if you, if you don't want to work sort of like, you know, thinking, oh, what am I going to get? What am I not going to get? You can always check it. Personally, I always find it just as easy just to work. Sort of, I know if I shift it slightly, sort of what the result's going to be. It's up to you, of course, to actually look at it. You can always just deselect these and see the result of that here, this pattern. Well, it's not going to be much use because it's normal. If it's normal, it's not, you're not going to see any difference. Well, what you can do, of course, you can go here and you can change the blend mode to difference, say. Doesn't have to be different, of course. And then you can move it. You can see you can move this around. You can also resize it. And as you resize it, you'll see what happens. It gets this really quite weird sort of Doctor Who sort of going uh, alien. That Just by simply changing that, you can see quite an interesting combination of results. But also you can rotate it. And you can see then you get this. Great for sort of texture designs, I think. And you get something like that. Well, again, I can bring this back in. You can see now I've got this again. And again, I can then go up here, click here, displace map, and it still does appear straight away. I say sometimes double click or click. And again, if I move this, it's still just taking what was there before. I forget sometimes, so I just do this. And I say, oh, nothing's changed. You need to click this. Now you can see because you've added two, you get this very slightly unusual combination because of the additional pattern layer and the blending. And again, you can change the blending. You don't have to go with difference. You could go with exclusion, hue, multiply, whatever. And of course I'm using, in this case, I'm using various, a pattern design that's, you know, just grayscale, but it doesn't have to be grayscale. It could be color as well. Okay, so you've got this and I can close that again. But however, this pixel layer is just a pixel layer and I can still modify that. Don't have to keep it as it was. And if I remove this displacement map, you can see that's that's all it is at the moment. And then with the displacement, you can see that. However, I can always just, let's just deselect it for now. I can always go to this one and I can tweak it with this. So I can just go to filters and just modify it. And there's loads of options here. You might, I'm just gonna choose one randomly, maybe glitch. This is a new one that came with Finity 3, so I can then just change that, and you can see then you get obviously that one. I don't want that one, but I'm just going to go with, say, Shred. I really like that one, so let's just Shred and do Vertical Strength and click Apply. Maybe Pixel Filters, maybe go with my favourite Box Blur. I don't want it that much, of course. <laughs> it completely wipes it out. But you can see you can create something like that, a blurry effect with the glitch. Again, all number of combinations, twirls, etc., can be used. Click apply. Again, we can now bring in the displacement map. 
and you get that result. Now, what you can do again is you can go to this pattern and you can right click and duplicate. And again, I can now, with this I can again go to the move tool, that's the key thing, with that selected I can reposition that and I can also rotate it. Now I don't know what the result will be, it's an experiment. So I've just moved it, again I can look at it if I deselect all these, but I don't have to, I'm just going to go with it and hope. And again, I can go back here, click here, and again, see this time I clicked it, didn't seem to respond. Yeah, this time it did. And again, low map from Las Beneath, and you can see now, each time I do it, there's a variety of different results coming from combinations of different pattern designs. And you could, of course, combine it with dark and go through the blend modes, just try out different difference and so on. But I'm just going to keep it as normal and close that. But thousands of different designs can be simply just by changing the patterns. You can also, of course, go to the patterns. Let's just quickly get rid of those so you can actually see them. You can see the design there. Because of the Gaussian blur, you could, of course, add another Gaussian blur. Right click and duplicate. Simply by doing that, you've added a bit more of a blurring effect which you of course can tweak. You can also click on here again, and you can also then use different options here. You've got blend modes through here, so you could just try and just change combinations of how that blur combines. And then of course, close that, and again, just go back to that, and let's just again click on Displace Map with that, again, low map from layers beneath. And you can see now you get this very abstract design. And you've got a more fragmented because it's got, let's just close that. Now, one thing you can find, you just go to pattern, you notice I've got here, there's another option. Mirror, click on this one, all the mirrors are turned off and that's using the move tool. Context toolbar, just go there and you can turn these on. Don't have to have it without the mirror. I quite like it like that, but still, let's just turn those on. So they're all on now. So all of them have got mirror effects. So the result will be slightly different. So let's just see if we can see it. Let's just go here. And I think, turn that one off, turn that one off. You can see now you get a more fragmented design. Again, you can tweak and change this if you want slightly smaller design like that. Maybe go with that. Bring them back. And again, click on the displacement map. Bring this up again. And now, low map from layers beneath. And you can see now you get this sort of result. And again, blend modes, combination, all kinds of different designs can be created. And this is just using the black and white basic gradient right from the start. You could use any number of colors to create all kinds of abstract designs, which would be great for textures, backgrounds, overlays, just abstract designs in general. And you of course combine this if you want to save it as an overall design, simply all you need to do is go up here to Pixel, and you go to Pixel, and you've got Merge, and Merge Visible. What that does, creates a pixel layer from this. Just captures it, you can then use it, save it. It's a great snapshot for possible use. Maybe go to Window, and then General, and Assets, and just save it, and store this sort of abstract design. And of course you can combine it with many other filters as well. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions or thoughts about this? It'd be great to hear from you. Bye.